Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. I've actually been editing this vlog already. There's loads to come in this vlog, especially our little romantic date weekend away. How beautiful are these little Dior tribals? I literally just got a parcel through from the Dior team. And absolutely stunning, it's their newest style and they sent me them over as a little Valentine's gift, they're so pretty. Anyway, we've been a little bit naughty, we've got a takeaway on the way. <laughs> we just are not in the mood to cook tonight and we don't really have anything in the house since we got back. So we have ordered a very, very naughty takeaway and let's just say I'm having a vegan burger. So that's exciting. We are going to eat our takeaway. Alex has just been on the Peloton. I hate it so much. <laughs> You love it really, I think. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna eat our burgers <laughs> whilst we watch a brand new film. We need to try and find a way to cast this onto the TV because at the moment we're gonna have to watch it on the laptop. What? Because oh, because we're getting a sneak peek. This isn't out yet. Yeah, I've got so I can we can watch it on here. Nobody else seen this yet. No, I think this is out twenty fifth of February. We're about to watch a brand new Sky Cinema movie called Old Henry. It's only out soon, but we get to have a sneak peek to see what it's all about. So again, this is part of my work with Sky. As I said before, they've got so many new Sky Cinema movies coming out. Loads of blockbusters, and obviously you can get everything on Sky Cinema. So. We have a sneak peek tonight of this. You can already watch a trailer online if you want to go have a little peek. Um, and we can, um, honestly, I wish this, I wish this camera would just stay, stay what? in focus. It's not because you need a new one. It's driving me mad. Like, I'm um, literally, my face is in the, the frame and it's looking over there. It's been dropped too much. So yeah, we're gonna have a little movie night tonight. We've been meaning to do this for, for the last few nights and just gotten too tired. So tonight is the night. We're gonna have a little movie night, watch this old Henry. Looks really good, actually. I mean, we were in bed at nine o'clock last night. It was great. We went to bed at quarter past nine last oh, night. so good. It was great. And then we got up at half six and I was like, wow, we've had like nine and a bit hours sleep, which is a little And I couldn't great. get up either. Yeah, you can get up at all. You are sweaty. You are so sweaty. So horrible. Sweaty boy. Okay guys, a few hours have passed. <laughs> Just to mention what we ate. This was so naughty, honestly. I don't remember the last time. I don't think I've had a KFC in about eight years, because obviously I don't eat meat. We wanted to try the vegan burgers. Honestly, really quite good. It was nice to try the 11 herbs and spices again. But, you know, in a... A vegan burger and actually it was it was pretty good and then we watched the film we thought it was awesome I thought it was really really good really really re totally my kind of film I know well that's what I thought when I chose it it's like that gritty it's not a western but it's but it is a western but it's not like cowboy no like John Wayne beautifully shot really kind of gritty that twist at the end was like yeah. Very cool. Yeah. I was like, that was very cool. I really liked it. I'd probably give it eight out of 10. Yeah. Yeah, me too, actually. And Stephen Dorff's in it as well. All the way through, I was like looking at one guy in it. I was like, who is that? And he's amazing in it. As for everybody else, I don't know any, any of the people in it. Like, it's no, all I didn't, unknown but, actors, but they're amazing. But I quite liked that about it. Sometimes it's nice when you don't know them. But the twist, them. the twist was just like. Yeah. Awesome. Totally recommend it. Old mm. Henry. It's coming out Sky Cinema like 25th, I think. Right, bedtime! We are just on our way out, actually. We've been packing all morning. We are going for a little breakaway. This is something that I planned as a surprise for Alex's birthday at the end of the week. I booked this like months ago. We're going to stay in at Soho Farmhouse for just a couple of nights. I thought it'd be a really nice little break away. We can get like massages and go for lovely meals and date nights together. And it's not too far away to drive. So it's just a really lovely trip away. So we're all packed up, all ready to go. I'm in just nice knits. I've got like knits with me and warm clothes and coats and scarves and, and everything. I'm not too sure what we're gonna do yet. I'm thinking we're gonna go and have like a bit of a swim, maybe use the gym. I've got meals booked, I've got massages booked. Yeah, I can't wait. And we are off. We're on our way to Soho Farmhouse and in a new car. 
This is all Alex is doing. This is this is nothing to do with me, which is kind of nice. Maserati got in touch with Alex and asked if he'd like to play with the car for a few days. And because we were going away, it's the perfect time. So what's the what's the make of this car? I think it's the Ghibli Trofeo. Ghibli Trofeo. It's very nice, like cricket ball, red interior. Love this big, love this big screen. And um, please put my lip balm in there. <laughs> so Alex is driver for this one, which is really nice. Uh, you're not even allowed to drive. Yeah, I've not even I've not even signed a form that says I can drive this. So the whole time you have to drive me around, which is just so nice for me. Which is nice for me. I get to drive this beautiful car. <laughs> yeah, so this is really good fun for Alex. He gets to drive this. So yeah, we are en route. We're a little bit later than anticipated, but it's all good. We only get to check in at four anyway. I, I just wanted to go a bit earlier in case we wanted to go and get some lunch or get a coffee. So we'll still have time. When we get there, we can go to the main the main barn and get a coffee and maybe a little tiny bite to eat. And then what do you want to do the rest of the day? Chill. Maybe we could shoot our projects and get them out of the get way. Them out them. And then tomorrow we have no work. Yeah. We'd have no work at all tomorrow then, would we? Mm -hmm. We have two projects to shoot. We did <laughs> we didn't mean to, like I said, this is Alex's birthday trip. But Alex's this birthday week. Yeah, it's your birthday week. So this is it's just unfortunate. Well no, it's not unfortunate, it's just being so busy, you, you guys know what we're like. Every time we go on a holiday or a trip, we always shoot campaigns. So we're always working, but it's fine. Like I say, we've got two really lovely campaigns to shoot. We'll be able to get those over and done with tonight. And then we're seeing Josie and Charlie later. I think they're gonna come along and have dinner. So it'll be so nice catching up with those guys. Not seen those guys since, did we go to theirs last? I think so. Um, yeah. I think it's just kind Ooh, of like it's the, nice. the drawback, isn't it? Like it's like kind of our work is our hobby as well as it being work. So yeah. like as much as we do enjoy doing it, like it's it all of, feeds into each other. Yeah, doesn't it? yeah, exactly. When you're really passionate about your work and you enjoy it, you find yourself doing it in that hobby yeah. way of things. And we are here. We just checked in. Um, this is a studio cabin. This is cabin number two. I thought I'd get us a really lovely room seeing as it's Alex's 32nd birthday. I just love the decor. The Soho home decor is so beautiful. I wonder making himself at home. Hey, well, hello. It's gorgeous. And then gorgeous little fire. We'll have that on later. <laughs> Favourite bit is the outdoor steel bath. Definitely going to have a nice little bath. Without a doubt. Are you seriously gonna get absolutely it? Absolutely gonna be in it. Hell no. Why? It's so cold. Oh baby, it'll be gorgeous. Just imagine we can have the fire on, all crackling, and then we can run outside into a fire. boiling hot bath and just sit out there. Oh, it'll be so nice. Um, this is also a dog friendly room. In the end, we didn't bring Bo. I, I did book us this room in case we wanted to bring Bo. But I thought in the end, we've got so many like lovely massages booked and spa treatments and and we want to go to the gym and we want to go, you know, do things where dogs can't be. And I thought we'd have to leave him here. And so instead, he's at home. We've got some friends looking after him at home just for a couple of days, just so we could have a little romantic weekend away. No, I don't think they brought it yet. They must be en route with it. And then wardrobe, and then here is the cutest little kitchen area. I mean, how cute is this? So retro. It's so good. I'm hoping no one can see us. <laughs> Since I get naked in here, is there anybody around? <laughs> hey guys, hope you don't mind me in a bra. I thought you've all seen me in a bra probably many times. And when you've, when you've seen one woman in a bra, you've seen every woman in a bra, I'm sure. Just quickly gonna get ready. Just in case any of you ask about it, this is the most comfortable bra I wear it all the time. The le girls, the boys. Like non-wired, non-padded. Simple bra, just line kick because it goes with like everything and under everything. Yeah, let's have a little peek. I've just been applied, so I've just been working on a gorgeous campaign for Kiehl's. Oh wait, no, I can't tell you about it. Okay, working on a gorgeous skincare campaign for a product. I can't tell you about it yet though. I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to until the end of Feb. So let's just say I have some great skincare on. To start off with, 
do a really quick little routine here. Clay de Peau Raging Cream Foundation in 020. Clay de Peau brush. We've just been shooting said campaign. We've got a really gorgeous like little evening vlog vibe reel. I've just posted another Post another reel. By the way, in case you can see in the mirror, these are my Holland Cooper pajamas. Love them. So comfy and gorgeous. New Sticks Concealer, if you watched the last vlog, definitely go watch the last vlog that I posted. In that, I found a, new, a couple of beautiful new products that I really love, including this New Sticks. I've got shade Nude 3. What I like about this is not only the consistency and the way it blends, like, so liquidy and beautifully, like, just glides across the face. It's a really nice amount of coverage, but I like the peachiness to it, so I feel it really counteracts that blue tone that I've got here. So yeah, still using this after I found it uh, for the first time last week, so yeah, big fan of this. See, I mean, look at that. that foundation though. Oh gosh, it's just the dream. It's the dream. Another product that I'm a little bit in love with right now is this Westman Atelier. I got this in like a little Christmas set. I'll just add a little bit here, a bit here, here and here. That's literally it. Um, yeah, because I apply my contour now a little more reduced. And I'm literally just kind of just pressing up in this area. I'm not taking it as far over here. I kind of just want to leave it here. See what I mean? It's like this really beautiful, natural. It's kind of what contour's made to do. Naturally sit there and create a bit of a shadow instead of being like a line and a bronze, you know? I mean, I love that. <laughs> I love that sculpted bronze effect, but I'm just quite enjoying just having a bit more of a, a minimal feel to my contour recently. Victor and Ralph Ruby Orchid really is a favourite right now. I'm absolutely in love with it. Mm -mm -mm. The Tom Ford bronzer. Do you know what, guys? <laughs> I'm actually thinking about it now in terms of what products I'm using here. I'm pretty much using the exact products. <laughs> Almost the exact products that I used the other day when I did that uh, routine. Because I'm really enjoying it. However, liner, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Deep Taupe. Nice simple line, blend that in, just diffuse it with my finger a little bit. Brows, I'm just going to use the Patrick Tar. So we've got a little bit left on from earlier, so I don't really need much here. Blusher, again I'm using the Nude Sticks blush. The easiest way to apply this, I find, is literally just taking a brush like this. It's a little quicker than applying it with your finger. I don't know why, but I'm just going extremely quickly here. Add this to my lips. I love me a dual purpose product. Powder by Terry. And by Terry powder. And just for the eyes, I'm going to use the Naked. Naked Reloaded Urban Decay. And just add a little bit of shimmer on there. And then I'm just going to take like the copper tones through the lash line area and up into the crease that on there and then I'm just going to warm it up with like the warmest tan shade whilst blending it out. Touching mascara, bad girl bang, and then we're done. Um, <laughs> I kind of like my hair like this, I kind of might leave it. The simpler the better sometimes. Gosh it makes me look very glowy, this light, love it. Okay guys, outfit of the evening for our little date night with Josie and Charlie. Lily Silk Cashmere Knit over this beautiful Reformation dress. It's slit, gorgeous, but I love it layered. And then these are the Tory Birch banana coloured boots. And then my bag of the evening. Honestly, I've been wearing this so much that it's so neutral. Oh, and goes with everything. So this is my sort of neutral vibe for the evening. Hi guys, we're back 
at the room. Um, so at Soho Farmhouse, you're not really allowed to take pictures or film anywhere, because um, obviously it's very sort of private and the people that want to come along are very private. So unfortunately I couldn't take pictures. We've had a wonderful evening meal with Josie and Charlie. Lots of lovely gyms, a really, really good catch up. We've not seen those guys for months. Sorry, it's really dark and, I mean, it's lovely and dark and moody. Sorry, I my boobs out now. So Alex has just lit the fire. We're so full. But Alex is going to have a morning workout tomorrow at 7am and I think I might join him. But yeah, we've had a wonderful evening, a really fantastic catch up. We've not seen those guys for ages and we love seeing Josie and Charlie so much. They're just such, they have such wonderful energy. Alex is already on with the fire. Get a nice warm shower and then get in this big, this enormous bed. I think this bed is actually emperor size. because It looks about the size of ours at home. Very nice indeed. It looks so cosy. So yeah. We will see you in the morning. Good morning guys. Brand new swimming costume alert. Absolutely love with this. In fact, I've just put these over top because we're about to walk to the swimming pool. Look how lovely this swim costume is. Oh, love it. So I'm just decided to wear this today because I fancy wearing a new swimming costume. So I know that wearing is really rather annoying but it comes on every time you walk in here. We had, we had an okay sleep. It was just very, very, very hot. So at 3 p.m., 3 a.m. That wearing's annoying me. So at 3 a.m. Alex woke up and was like, God, it's so hot and had to open up this door and let, in, let some of the heat out because it's like two massive ray days in here and wow, does it get warm. Like in a really cozy way, but I think we're just not used to the heat. So it woke us up a little bit. So it's not been the best sleep ever, but equally, it's been a really cozy sleep. And this enormous bed was just divine. What's Alex doing? Alex is, Alex is scrolling for the morning. I have booked in the Greasy Spoon van to come along. Apparently there's a little van, it comes along to the front of the cabins and you go out and you choose what breakfast you want from this like cooked breakfast van. Yeah, so we're just gonna go to the pool just for a little bit. And I mean, if I can, if I can get anything on my camera, I will, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to film very much. Yeah, we're gonna go, go see the swimming pool for a little bit and then we'll be back for our breakfast. This is our little cabin in the woods. Stunning morning. So nice. Alex must be so cold in these shorts. Ah, northern boy. <laughs> northern boy in his shorts. Yeah, I've never seen Soho Farmhouse. This is a kind of, ooh, it's gone for a run. This is a kind of vibe. But then over here you've got the, um, I think, the spa and the little cafe. We're gonna go get a coffee. How absolutely delightful is this beautiful sunrise? It's about 7.45, I think. We did want to go out earlier and start the gym at seven, but didn't happen. It's such a shame that I couldn't bring my camera then into the swimming pool. And we got back and the greasy spoon van came along and we both ordered baps. So, so Alex has an egg and salmon bap and I have a avocado egg bap. Oh, this looks so good. So good. We're just gonna sit and look out while we eat our baps. Okay guys, in true us form, we're shooting a campaign on our trip. Another another campaign. Another campaign. Another campaign. Um, we were gonna walk out to some fields to shoot it, but then I spotted next to the cabin, this is a really lovely wooden wall, and I feel it could work really, really nicely as a backdrop. So actually, we're gonna shoot at the cabin. I'm wearing this gorgeous tulle Victor and Roth dress. It's absolutely beautiful, but it's just very, very see-through. And so I had it like wrapped all the way around my body with a coat on to walk out, and I was like, ah, look, I did look pregnant because it was all around my waist, like a tire here. So luckily, I can let it all free. I've got my big boots on with it. And we're just gonna shoot here. Um, it's a it's a campaign, it's a campaign for the new the new Ruby Orchid fragrance, and Alex is shooting with infrared spice bomb, like a Valentine's Day campaign. So should be really, really gorgeous. It's so nice that you can wear on these trips, um, all that little holidays way, and you find really beautiful places to shoot that just really like simple. So yeah, it's really really like this wooden wall. I think it'll look quite cool when we've edited it up. We finished up that campaign, shooting for Victor and Ralph. You've already seen that on Instagram. Um, so go take a peek on at Victoria McGrath if you want to see the end results of that campaign. We are however on our way for massages. Oh wait, I'm definitely gonna fall asleep. Are you really? Yeah, oh yeah. I'm, I'm tired today. But we're having, we are having a deep tissue massage though, so you might not be that relaxed. 
I'll have to see. We'll see. I'm very excited there. Yeah, I've booked in for massages. I hope I'm getting some good wife points. For you definitely this are. This nice little getting at least two. <laughs> We've just been for a really gorgeous lunch. Honestly, one of the nicest meals I've had in months. I haven't stopped talking about it. The food's fantastic here, isn't oh, it? Delicious. Yeah. It was a spinach paneer curry. And you get naan bread and poppadoms and rice and chutneys. It was absolutely divine. It's like enough for like three people. Yeah, so it was just amazing. But then now, onto our spa treatments. It's so beautiful. Just over there was where I was having my swim this morning. The swimming pool is literally in this lake. Hi guys. I'm gonna brave this sound so you can actually see me a little bit. So last time we saw you, we were on our way for our massages. Alex had a fantastic massage. I didn't love my massage, I must admit. You guys know how much I love a massage, but like I say, Alex really enjoyed his, didn't you? It was good, I even had a, a taster of something called, was it Reiki? Reiki. I think she called it Reiki. Oh, I thought it was Reiki. Oh, I don't know, maybe. Um, yeah, it was good, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, so you had a really fantastic experience. So now we're ready to go out for a Japanese meal at a restaurant here called Penyen. Never been there before, but I'm excited to try it, and Japanese food is our... I'd probably say it's our favourite. Ooh, Italian though. Mm, I'd probably... I'd say I'd, I'd put it on par with Italian in terms of our favourite cuisine. Oh, I don't know, Mexican food. Oh, Mexican... Oh, God, that's difficult. Mexican and Japanese are on par for me, and then Italian. Okay, I'd say Italian and Japanese for me, and then Mexican. Well, nobody cares what you think, though. Charming. Outfit of the evening. I'm wearing, uh, I really, really love this top. I'm so glad I managed to get this. As soon as I wore it and went to tag it, it was then like sold out and I couldn't find it anywhere online. Really annoying, but I'll keep an eye out. It's a beautiful knit top, tucked into my favorite Brunello's, Fendi belt, and then my Bottega heels. And then of course, I'm also wearing my beautiful, beautiful serpentine bulgari bag. You look very comfortable. Good morning, a final morning at Soho Farmhouse and I'm really quite sad about it. I've honestly had the most wonderful relaxing break away. I've just been getting myself ready. Alex is currently at the gym having his morning slog. I was gonna go and swim again because yesterday it was honestly so blissful. Like swimming along in the pool next to the river with ducks just swimming along, it was just so peaceful and like really kind of out of body experience vibes but i thought you know what i did it yesterday it was absolutely wonderful i don't want to get chlorine in my hair or on my body again i'm just gonna get myself ready and wait for alex so i've packed up everything i've now got all of alex's stuff ready for him just so we can pack it up super quickly and we're going to go to quince and clover for breakfast it's a little in fact i don't even know i think it's like a cafe nearby Josie and Charlie always go there. They recommended we should go and have a look at that instead for breakfast this morning. So we're going to do that. So we're going to leave a little earlier and go along to Quince and Clover, get some breakfast, pick up some salad boxes for the day, and then get off home back to our bow. It has been just the most wonderful trip. I'm so happy. Morning, guys. Me and Bo are just editing up the vlog. Well, we do the second edit. Alex does first edit. And then we do second edit together, don't we? And I say we because he usually sits with me on my lap every single time. You can't see me. Yeah, I have just been filming a few things this morning because a pair of boots just arrived that I think are gonna be the boots of the season. Let me show you these beauties. These are absolutely unbelievable. Like the sock boot, the boot of the season, I'm calling it right now, the pointed toe. It's very me. Love the heel. <laughs> Hello. Anyway, they're great. Obviously, you've got to be super delicate with these sections that are mesh, but actually they're a bit more sturdy and supportive than I thought they'd be. Like this insert here is like a proper shoe insert, so you still feel like you're wearing a shoe like this section here. They're absolutely gorgeous. If you want to see me in them, go along to my Instagram. All my TikTok, I've just filmed a TikTok and I've just filmed an Instagram with them on because I got so excited and I was like, I need to try these. They're absolutely gorgeous, like gorgeous. And uh, it was just quite funny. I was literally sat down wearing them. I have like a personal shopper at Nitta Porte who tells me about the loveliest things that have come in for the season. And they were like, Vic, have you seen these shoes? And I was like, babes, I am literally wearing them right now. Great minds, they know me so well. 
they're just so me. I love them. I'll leave a link down below, guys, if you do like them. They're absolutely awesome. <laughs> One thing I do have is this new top and it's so simple, it's so plain, it's so, you know, it's, I wanted like a t-shirt, like a black t-shirt, long sleeve, but there was a bodysuit in just a fabric that wasn't cotton and I found this and it's literally exactly what I was picturing. Um, again, I'll leave your link down, down below for this one, but I love it. It's looking a bit blue on camera, I promise it's not meant to be, it's just meant to be black, but yeah, I'm so happy with this. Okay, finished up my shooting, just put all my shoes away. I've just been filming a shoe favourites video. Just going through like the five top brands that are my favourites when it comes to buying shoes, because I get asked this a lot. So I thought it'd be a good way to kind of pull out all of my, my thoughts and my faves together. Oh! Are you here again? Are you Hello! Hi! Oh gosh, hello. I need to watch him start going for my coffee now for a drink. So that is done. Gosh, I am in productive mode today, aren't I, darling? I've got TikToks filmed, I've got Instagrams filmed, I've got a video filmed, and now I'm gonna go get my nails done again with um, with Alex the Hot Blend on Instagram. Last night I was like, babe, can you fit me in? I've completely forgotten to book in again. So I'm gonna go get a nice fresh layer of my usual gels. So this is Alex. <laughs> She's just finished off my nails, guys. Look how beautiful these are. So we're gonna do the nice aftercare. Oh my goodness. Care. Honestly, Alex's aftercare <laughs> is insane. So we're gonna use <laughs> the Augustina's baby dead oil because it is absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness. Very generous money. So um, the next thing I'm gonna use is this anti-aging cream from Le Perry. It is very hydrating and lovely. So I haven't even seen this before. Ice, ice crystal cream. Oh my Proper goodness, this looks unbelievable. <laughs> so, I'm just going to put a generous amount on. Oh, I like that little spatula. It's cute, right? <laughs> really cute. Oh yeah, it's really light and like silky. And it disappears on the skin. And you know when it goes kind of matte, the cream after a while, this doesn't do that. It's actually hydrating. Oh, how lovely. We just scrubbed my hands. What do we use for the scrub? Um, we use the La Perry um, Exfoliating Cellular Mineral That was nice. Thing. <laughs> and is that meant to be for face usually? Um, yeah, so you can use it for anything because it basically just scrubs the skin. Uh, the, it's right. just designed to remove the dead cells. Oh, I see. Our skin cells from your hands. So face, hands, body, doesn't matter. I need to wait a couple of minutes and it's gonna completely go. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that feels like <laughs> what is that? It's almost like oily, creamy, like thick goodness. It's like silk. It's almost wow. you know the clothing on the silk, it just feels very It does. Light. It does. Yeah, so Alex is like um collection of aftercare is just like out of this world so every time that we finish my hands you always use like something insane whether it's like Le Mer, La Prairie, Augustia's Bader, Guillain, Jo Malone, only the best, <laughs> only the best. <laughs> Got to do the best of the best right? Yeah. So Alex goes to dry by and does, what? what's it called? A artist in residency. Artist in residency at dry by in London so if you are based in London or you can get to London and you want to get your nails done by Alex, then she's there. You're there every Wednesday, right? Yeah, every Wednesday for now. Um, yeah. And I'm permanent residency for now. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that's insane, isn't it? So yeah, so if you guys do want to book in with Alex and get some of her like perfect, incredible nails, then I mean, look. But they're absolutely like divine. There's nothing more perfect. So yeah, the best thing is to message you, isn't it, on Instagram? Yes, please. To book in. Uh, it's easier, but you can email um, at info at the hotline as well, whichever you prefer. Yeah. Easier. And if not, then you can just uh, you can find Alex at the Hot Blend on Instagram and we'll message you there if you wanna book in. You look at me. <laughs> just a couple of goodies arrived. Some aromatherapy associates. I'm such a fan. Most of the time in our shower, there is always a body, um, the body cleanser, oil to milk in our shower. We love them. This is a rose smell. I've got a bath and shower oil. Again, I always have one of these for the bath. Love them. I've got a rose oil blend, so I might put that actually in the bathroom. We have the beautiful mist diffuser in the bathroom, so that'll be lovely in there as a treat. And then the body cream. So thank you very much, Aromatherapy Associates. Mm -hmm. 
gorgeous. I'll have a little look and see if my discount code for Aromatherapy Associates is still working. And if so, I'll leave it down below. This is also an incredible gift from Tom Ford. Look at these aviators. Everything just feels really nice and sepia now. Very cool. I love the Tom Ford sunglasses cases are some of the best, they're so cool. So thank you Tom Ford and they sent me a new updated Costa Azura Parfum. One of the loveliest fragrances from Tom Ford. Just got a very, a very lovely package just arrived too from Asino. They sent me this very pretty slinky, how pretty is that green? It's like a, a shimmery olive shade. A cami and shorts sleep set. Thank you so much, Asino. This just looks so comfy and beautiful. Or in fact, I might save these for another holiday we have coming up. Gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Like that material is divine. And then yeah, last but not least, Emporio Armani Stronger With You, which is the male fragrance. I've just launched Stronger With You only for men to go alongside there because it's you for women, which is, it's such a beautiful wearable fragrance. I've been through at least two bottles of that myself. Alex adores Strong With You again, he's been through so many, so this is a nice brand new one. I thought I'd mention it in case any of you guys are big fans of that. So yeah, just a few lovely parcels this week.